Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and 2013 was a big year for Google Play. It hit 1 million apps. But since it's tough to say how many of those apps are high quality, I've gone ahead and thrown together a list of my top apps for 2013. So let's get started. First up, Dash Clock. Created by Roman Yurik of Google, is a beautiful widget that combines many important notifications and shortcuts into one convenient widget with the use of extensions. Now there are many more extensions available in the Google Play Store that you can go ahead and check out. It has a few settings for some degree of customization and is a must have for anyone who loves widgets. Next up is one app that I'm constantly raving about, Falcon Pro. With its sleek UI and great features, it's an app that you won't want to leave. It's got tons of customization from themes all the way to fonts that you can even change. It's a great app that I've been using since I got a Twitter and absolutely love it. I'd recommend this app to anyone looking for an awesome Twitter experience and doesn't mind doing a little hard work to get it up and running for them. With my visiting to many tech sites on the daily, it was becoming cumbersome to load up each site as I wanted. That's where Feedly came in. Feedly is my go-to newsreader application when I'm on the fly or when I just want to sit back and enjoy some hot cocoa and catch up on the news. This app also comes with a few customization options like themes and favorite sharing and saving tools, so check it out if you're looking for an easy but beautiful way to view your news. So it probably isn't a secret that I love to theme or customize my devices. I enjoy a very minimal setup and of all the launchers I've tried, I keep coming back to Nova Launcher Prime. It is easy to get used to, has tons of features that are continually being added to, and it's great for customization, uh, especially if you don't want to root your device. It does have a free version, but if you're someone who wants to just add a little bit more, the paid version is definitely worth it at $4. I'd really recommend this for anybody who wants to, you know, slap on a new launcher. Maybe you don't like your manufacturer's skin, that'd be TouchWiz or HTC Sense. I would check out Nova Launcher. A fairly new addition to my lineup of apps is Pocket. Pocket's a great app that will essentially let you save things for later, whether it be an article you found online, pictures, videos, web pages, you name it, Pocket will save it. Pocket allows you to save things into a convenient location, all centralized, that you can then access later. I found myself using this app maybe a bit more than I should just because I like the UI. It does have a couple theme options like dark and I think real dark um, and light. It's a very beautiful app. It has a few customizations uh, to just sort of enhance your experience. And it's what I use to save my Feedly articles for later. So Task is one of those apps I find myself constantly opening to jot down homework assignments or videos that I plan on doing. It's a pretty simple app that comes with two themes, a light and a dark, that will allow you to use your Gmail account to sync your tasks across multiple devices. And it's just one of those apps that I can't let go of now that I have it. So some quick honorable mentions. Uh, honorable mentions will go to Today, which is a calendar widget that's really beautiful and has an, a nice uh, handful of customization options. And it knows how to keep it simple and minimal. Uh, it really helps me stay organized and it's something that I always download on any device that I get. Uh, Blur is a pretty cool application that will allow you to select a photo from a gallery or from your gallery and then go ahead and blur it to make it a new neat looking wallpaper. Uh, another thing that I pretty much like to have on all my devices nowadays. Uh, Eye in Sky is another great application and widget. It's just a really simple application that does have a couple different uh, icon themes for its uh, application and widget. Uh, of course, Timely and its incredible UI. This is one of the best looking apps to ever hit Google, the Google Play Store. And um, it's even gotten praise from the folks over at Google. So if you guys are looking for a nice alarm clock app, uh, I even did a review of it. So that will be down below. I would definitely check out uh, Timely. And last but not least is UCCW. Now UCCW is my go-to for customizable widgets. Uh, the interface may be a little hard to learn. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's a really beautiful app if you want to go ahead and use already made widgets or if you want to go ahead and make your own widgets. Uh, it's simply a must have when I'm customizing my devices. And of course, there are many, many more apps that I enjoyed using in 2013, but the list has to end sometime. I hope you enjoyed the video and all the important links will be down below. Don't forget to follow me at all the social media places and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.